Look at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They told him bad things. They said evil things. They plotted against him. They tried to kill him. They tried to do whatever. They didn't succeed. And Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Wala qad na'lamu an." We know that the statements they are uttering, the bad words they are saying are hurting you. We know that they are hurtful words. Your heart is being narrowed, your chest, sorry, your chest is being narrowed because of the hurtful words that they are saying. We know that. What is the solution? Sabbih bihamdi rabbik. Declare the praise and glory of your Lord. Declare it. Someone swore you. You say Alhamdulillah. Is it possible? The problem with us when someone swears us, we don't know the guidance. We don't even have hope in the mercy of Allah. We swear them back with a double swear word. Subhanallah. We swear them back. They called us one animal. We called them ten animals. What what was the difference? Subhanallah. It just shows our vocabulary is a little bit wider and broader than theirs. That's not what a mu'min is. Someone swears you, and you can smile, and you can say, Oh Allah, guide him. He doesn't know. That is a true believer. You have hope. You are living with a smile on your face. You don't need to get angry. Anger will destroy you. It will destroy your health. It will destroy your relationships. You'll end up oppressing your children and your family members without realizing it's because someone said something to me today and I didn't like it. I vented it on those I love the most. So you have a problem now at home because of what? You didn't realize what it was, but if you learn to let go and have hope in the mercy of Allah, perhaps Allah will guide this person. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, there are so many examples of people who caused and committed blasphemy against Allah and His Rasul, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Allah guided them to the Deen, and they came through. Subhanallah, in such a manner that nobody would have imagined this victory. Even in our own lives, I can give you so many examples of so those people. You might even know some of them. But this has been from the very beginning. So why is it that I get angry and upset when Allah Himself knows people who blaspheme Him? At times He guides them and He brings them to the Deen. Take a look at Khalid ibn al Walid ibn al Mughira radiyallahu anhu. Take a look at this man. He says there is no place on my body without the mark of a weapon, and yet he didn't die in the battlefield. And prior to Islam, he caused a lot of harm to the Muslims. But there was hope in the mercy of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ma mithlu Khalid ni ajhalul Islam." A man with the brain of Khalid ibn al Walid, so intelligent, so powerful, he cannot be ignorant of the fact that Islam is the true religion. Subhanallah.